Now we're going to talk about the selectivity of electrophilic addition to alkenes. You may have noticed with our previous alkene, it didn't matter which side the hydrogen added to because it was the same. But what if we had an alkene that was different on one side of the bond compared with the other? What's observed to happen is that the hydrogen adds to the side of the bond that already has more hydrogens. Just for emphasis, the new H is highlighted in green. Okay, but why? I'll show you in a second, but one thing you should know is that Markovnikov's rule states that for hydrogen halide addition to alkenes, the H always goes on the side that has more H's. And I was really curious, so I wrote why again. The answer has to do with something called hyperconjugation. Let's look at the actual structure and shape of this carbocation. Something to keep in mind, sigma bonds are shaped generally like this, where the H nucleus is actually outside of the sigma orbital. And you know a P orbital looks something like this. Now I'm actually going to draw one of these sigma orbitals into the methyl group next to the empty P orbital. Now when you have two orbitals like this next to each other, with similar wave functions, and one of them has electrons and one doesn't, the one with electrons will donate its electrons into the one that doesn't, at least sometimes, a little bit. This slight donation of electrons stabilizes the positive charge. So with all of that in mind, let's look again. Back to our asymmetrical alkene. We're going to look at what if the H added to one side, and then what if the H added to the other side. In the first case, the carbocation would look something like this. I'm going to draw one sigma bond on the methyl group, but keep in mind there are three identical ones like that. Each one of them, when they're properly aligned as the methyl group rotates, provides some electron donation. Now, if the hydrogen had added to the other side, our carbocation would look something like this. Now there are two methyl groups donating electrons. In this case, the number of stabilizing sigma bonds directly next to the empty p orbital is 6. On the other side, in the other case, it's only 3. That hydrogen does not count. Its sigma bond is orthogonal to the empty p orbital. So, the species that is more stabilized has a lower transition state energy, meaning that's the one that happens. So to summarize, Markovnikov's rule says H's add to where there are more H's, because of hyperconjugation. Thanks for watching.